Noun clauses. Please turn to pages 150 and 151. A noun clause is exactly like a noun, which plays its roles of subject of a verb, object of a transitive verb, as well as a preposition and complement of a linking verb. A subordinate clause is called noun clause all because it stays in one of the four positions just mentioned. Here, the subordinate clauses replace the nouns fact, work, debt, and thing as subjects of the verbs. So we call these subordinate clauses to be subject noun clauses. Now we see that a noun clause incorporates in the main clause, forming part of it, However, an adjective clause and an adverb clause only attach themselves to the main clause. If they are deleted, the main clause still survives with complete sense. On the other hand, if the subject noun clause is cut off, the main clause will lose its head and is dead for incomplete sense. Please turn to pages 152 and 153. The object nouns fact, effort, speech, and history are replaced by the subordinate clauses. These subordinate clauses are, therefore, called object noun clauses. Here is the third kind of noun clauses as complements of linking verbs. It seemed that someone had broken into the building. The fact was that he had resigned his post. The fourth kind of noun clause acts as the object of a preposition. There is no meaning in what he writes. I am aware of what you did. Please turn to page 154. What means something that or the thing that. I am aware of what you did. I am aware of the thing that you did. What you said was true. Something that you said was true. Please turn to page 155. All subjunctive verbs can appear in noun forms to do the same job. They put forward a suggestion that John be our president. Here are more subjunctive verbs. Advise, command, desire, determine, order, permit, intend. The following are additional subjunctive adjectives. Advisable, desirable, natural, no wonder, proper, vital.